Hi, this is Nicole D'Alessio, and I'm going to show you how to make a love collage with our abstract photo walk letters and turn it into a collage using Photoshop Express. So down in my bottom toolbar, I'm going to open up Photoshop Express that has the little PS symbol. And I want to show to you on the side here with the settings, so when I tap on this little, there's three little lines, I do have the option to sign in with um, my Adobe account or even uh, my Google account, but I don't always want to do this, especially if I'm working with younger children. So this is an advantage of PS Express. It actually allows you to either sign in or not sign in, which is um, really kind of up to you. The disadvantage of not signing in is, is it doesn't save a student's work to their account where they can access it later from somewhere else. Um, but it's just simpler and one less step. So in this case, I'm going to not sign in. Now, once I get here to my main menu, you can see the photos in my camera roll because I've selected all photos. I also like to just take the pictures first and then put them in the camera roll and pull them into my collage from my camera roll. And on the top, I have two choices. I can either edit the images or I'm going to make my collage. I'm going to just make my collage and keep it simple. It does still allow me to do some basic like cropping and adjusting in here. And what I'm going to do is to choose the four photos that I'm going to use to spell L-O-V-E. And so I have a handful of different images to choose from, from my photo walk. And I'm going to pick my favorite L, my favorite O, my favorite V, and my favorite E. And then I'm going to choose next. Now it automatically throws those four pictures into a collage. It may not be the layout that I necessarily want because in this case they are uh, not even. And I prefer the one where they're all the same size. So if you look down here on the bottom toolbar, you have various options for uh, four photo collages. And I'm going to choose the first one where they keep them all even. Now also, on the bottom of the toolbar where you have um, a couple of different rectangles intersecting, you can also change it to however ratio that you want depending on where you want to post it. But I like the square one. So I'm going to stay with the square one. And I'm going back over to my little collage options. And what I've noticed is that when I selected my four photos, they just put them in random order and I want them in a very specific order so that you can obviously tell that I'm trying to spell the word love. So my L down here, I'm touching it and I'm tapping it and I'm moving it around. But when I hold down and tap on it and hold there, it gets a little bigger as I'm selecting it. And what I'm going to do is drag this upward and drop it where I want to put it. And then if I pinch that photo, I can make it a little bit smaller so that looks more obvious as an O. Now I then want to do the same thing with my O because I want to put it up to the top because in, in my eyes it spells it better. If I put it in that order, it looks more like the word love in the square. And then I have my L-O-V-E, the V and the E are in the places where I wanted to put it. Now if you want to, you can do further editing and some of those are some of the previous the the features that are uh, premium features that are required you to sign in but maybe you don't necessarily need to do that if we're going to keep it simple in this case then over on the right hand side you can actually select the co the color of your border so if you wanted to do a red love thing or maybe something that kind of blends in a little bit more. You can choose a different color. I think I just like white. You can also mess around with the thickness of the border. So if you notice when I use the slider, it makes it thicker or thinner. Once again, thicker and thinner. You can even make it so that it completely disappears and you have no border at all. I personally prefer just a little thin one. And then you could also round the corners if you prefer. Okay, so I think I'm pretty happy with my love collage, and I'm going to go ahead and export this out. If you look on the top right-hand corner, almost to the very end, there is a rectangle with an arrow pointing upwards, 
that is my export button. I'm going to click on that and I can have a little preview on here and I'm going to choose to my camera roll and save it to my camera roll and it has a little message that says that I have saved it to my camera roll and from there you can do whatever you want with it. So that's about it. Have fun with this. Bye.